Hey guys, I'm back. So I um, just wanted to show you a few of my pomelos that I'm growing. Um, a lot of people don't grow these because they, I don't know, maybe they're just not familiar with the variety of that type of fruit or, <coughs> excuse me, or they um, are just hard to find because it's hard to actually kind of source these. This is my Nacon pomelo that I um, featured before. It had the really large fruit on it. Um, this year, I don't think it held any fruit, but I think it's just concentrating on growing because uh, I think last year when it had that fruit, it was really zapping the energy of the whole tree. So I can't remember if I picked up all the, off the flowers or not, but um, so uh, it is concentrating on kind of just growing. So it, it looks pretty good this year. Um, let's see, what else do I have to show you? We're going to move over to another area of the yard. So this kind of illustrates, this tree illustrates how uh, vigorous these guys can get and um, why a lot of people maybe don't grow them. It's hard to keep them as potted trees because they want to get super huge now. I'm going to pan on up and if you can see it, it's all the way up there. I'm guessing that's around uh, close to 10 feet, but that's in a pot. Uh, this is a Leon, Leon Pomelo, L-I-A-N. Uh, don't really know much about it. I was just lucky enough to get some wood and graft this out and um, I think it's supposed to be like a honey pomelo really tasty But this still looks like this one wants to concentrate on getting huge before it uh, Holds fruit it did flower Right around the corner here. I've got a red shaddock So this is a you know, let's make sure this is a red shaddock so this is the tree right here. It's not as large. Most of the pomelos do have the same type of leaf, but they're just pretty huge like this. Um, this one, fortunately, does have a fruit on it. So over here, you can see how big this thing is. This is a red shaddock. Um, very tasty also. So that's kind of reason why this one's not that big is because it has a fruit on it this year and it's not trying to get try to concentrate so much on the growth so I'm gonna show you my Hall of Shame here in just a second so this deformed looking tree right here is a Milo Gold so um, this is a pretty popular one in California and uh, I did have um, what was the other one Milo Gold Oro Gold um, but I ended up killing that so I'm holding on this Milo Gold. The rootstock is looking pretty terrible. Don't even really want to show you it, but I'm going to end up, what I want, need to do is just go ahead and regraft this on any rootstock so I can get this going better. Right here next to this is a Sarawak pomelo. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite tasting pomelos. It's got like a really unique taste. It, um, it's got a really nice, balance of acid and sweet um it's hard to describe it's been a while since i've had it I, and i'm happy that this year it does have a fruit on it right here let's see i just kind of have it propped up on this little pot which it's kind of bending it in because it's getting heavy so this is um the sarawak or tahitian pomelo i think those are pretty much interchangeable if i'm not mistaken they're about the same but they're both um as far as pomelos i think this is one of my top ones besides maybe harado bontan which is good um let's see if i can remember some of the other ones that i used to grow but i used to grow like chandler i do have cocktail i just crafted it back out and it has a little fruit on it um i had mato bontan and Riking. um and Thong D managed to kill all those. What I want to kind of tell you about here, right next to it, this is my Halawa Pomelo. I may have kind of talked about this before in one of my really um, uh, beginning videos. This is one that I got when I was in Hawaii <clears throat> from Frankie and Frankie's Nursery. Um, it is a rare tree now to get at least here on the mainland because um, 
you just simply can't get the wood or, or you can't get plants citrus plants um, shipped to the mainland anymore so I was lucky enough to to get one when I was there and bring it back with me so this is the fruit it's kind of a flattish flat fruit <clears throat> um, I can't remember what Frankie told me the rootstock was but I think it is sort of a dwarfing rootstock because it's really never um, grown vigorously I keep meaning to regraft this tree so I can get a, a nice bigger tree that way I can get actually bigger fruit because uh, the distinctive feature of this tree is that this is also called the 16 pound palmello because these can get about as big as a like a, it's a soccer ball uh, on a mature tree so this year I finally got a fruit hopefully nothing knocks it off we don't get any more winds heavy winds and I can get this thing to mature so here's a, what the top of it looks like and the leaves like I mentioned they are pretty similar in shape this one has more of a petiole there but um I want to propagate this so I can have backups because uh, I can't, if I lose this one, I can't get one anymore. So there's that one. Last two little updates is I want to show you what's going on with the rainforest plum. So there's still a ton of blooms and actually new growth coming out. So pretty. Uh, it is still working on forming those buds. And uh, as none of them have uh, popped yet. So um, they are continuing to form. And uh, this thing is just shooting up as far as growth. I think because we cooled off a little bit, it is uh, starting to do a little fall growth here. But uh, I'm really continuing to be pretty excited about how this is going to turn out. Um, I don't know, since it's going to be cold soon, if any of these will hold till maturity. I'm just going to have to bring it in the greenhouse and uh, kind of hopefully I can get something to mature the inside there. In the next couple months so there's this and I'm going to show you my uh, governor's plums guys you'll be happy to know that I finally took it out of that two gallon pot and I put it at least in a three gallon pot uh, I didn't want to really mess with the roots too much but at least it's uh it's got a little more room to grow now but here's the fruit they're starting to turn I mean ripen and uh, I've been eating these and I've been meaning to hopefully I'll make a little a taste testing video of the fruit before I eat them all but if you look at them it's pretty cool because they actually look they look like um, escarlate or scarlet jab jaboticaba fruit so um, but or like little grapes so they they you know this one's transition transitioning from green to that uh, kind of dark maroonish um, and so they're coming along and uh, I'm pretty happy with what's going on to this this uh, summer this one's gotten a little beat up but still it's gonna taste pretty good all right guys so I'll uh, post another video soon thanks for joining me again I'll talk to you later